In this video, we shall learn the various ways to administer oxygen to a newborn baby. There are primarily two ways by which oxygen can be administered to a newborn. These are nasal cannula or nasal prongs and oxygen hood. Nasal prongs are the preferred method for delivering oxygen to infants with hypoxia. The possible rationale being less wastage of oxygen and no risk of hypercapnia when compared to oxygen therapy by hood. One should ensure the following supplies before starting oxygen therapy. These are a source of oxygen in form of cylinder or central supply or an oxygen concentrator, a flow meter, a humidifier chamber, a distilled water, nasal prongs of appropriate size or oxygen hood and skin adhesive to fix nasal prong. Counsel parents before starting oxygen therapy and always ensure asepsis throughout the process. Let us see how to start oxygen therapy. Attach the flow meter to the oxygen cylinder or to the central oxygen supply and start the oxygen flow. The normal oxygen flow rate which is set in nasal prongs is between 0.5 to 1 liter per minute and 2 to 3 liters per kg per minute in case of oxygen hood. Then fill the humidifier chamber with the distilled water to humidify the delivered oxygen. Put the date on the humidifier chamber and check for the bubbles in the humidifier chamber. Let's first learn the oxygen administration by hood. Position the newborn's head in the midline and keep it in slightly extended position by placing the shoulder roll if required. Ideally, the pulse oximeter should be used for all the newborns receiving oxygen therapy. The target oxygen saturation should be between 90 to 95 percent. Attach the pulse oximeter saturation probe to the newborn's foot or palm. Take a clean oxygen hood and put it over the newborn's head. Now take a new oxygen tubing and attach one end of it to the flow meter and the other end to the oxygen hood. Ensure that the opening seal of the hood is at the level of the neck of the newborn. Look for the immediate improvement in the color and the saturation. Remember not to decrease the flow rate below 2 liters per kg per minute while giving oxygen by hood to prevent the risk of hypercapnia. Now we shall learn administration of oxygen by nasal cannula or nasal prongs. Remember to keep the oxygen flow rate between 0.5 to 1 liter per minute while using nasal cannula. Choose a cannula of infant size and always use a new cannula. Attach the end of the nasal cannula to the flow meter. Secure the nasal cannula on the cheeks near the nose with the tigerdom or similar transparent adhesive to prevent accidental displacement. Look for the immediate improvement in the color and the saturation. In this video, we have learnt the methods of oxygen administration by nasal prongs and oxygen hood. Let us now understand some common troubleshoots. If the bubbles are not appearing in the humidifier chamber, then one should check whether the oxygen is actually coming from the respective source or not. In addition, the level of water in the humidifier chamber 
should also be at the correct mark. The tubing should be checked for the possible leak. Let us see some do's and don'ts. The oxygen flow rate should be between 0.5 to 1 liter per minute while using nasal cannula. The oxygen flow rate should be between 2 to 3 liters per kg per minute while using oxygen hood. Do not increase the oxygen flow rate beyond 2 liters per minute while using nasal cannula and do not decrease the oxygen flow rate below 2 liters per kg per minute while using oxygen hood.